A key component of the U.S. nuclear deterrent has reached a major milestone. Sandia National Laboratories and its nuclear security partners recently completed the first production unit of a weapon module responsible for the key operations of the improved W88 Alteration 370 warhead or W88 Alt 370. The upgraded warhead gets an improved arming mechanism or brain. This endeavor is part of the program to extend its service life. Viewers may note that W-88 is deployed in U.S. Navy's Trident II submarine-launched ballistic missile system on board Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines. As per reports, the first production unit of the W-88 Alt-370 was assembled by Kansas City National Security Campus at the end of May. The first fully operable unit was then received the next day at the Pantex plant near Amarillo, Texas. This followed the completion of the first system-level production unit for the W88 Alt-370 at Pantex in early July. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the latest W88 Alt-370 warhead will make Trident II submarine-launched ballistic missile more potent. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The W-88 was designed at the Los Angeles National Laboratory in the 1970s. In 1999, the director of Los Alamos, who had presided over its design, described it as the most advanced U.S. nuclear warhead. The W-88 has an estimated yield of 475 kilotons. Information in the public domain about the W-88 indicates that it's a variation of the standard Teller Ulam design for thermonuclear weapons. In a thermonuclear weapon like the W88, nuclear fission in the primary stage causes nuclear fusion in the secondary stage, which results in the main explosion. Although the weapon employs fusion in the secondary, most of the explosive yield comes from the fission of nuclear material in the primary, secondary, and casing. The W-88 nuclear warhead entered the stockpile in late 1988. Since the weapon is over 30 years old, several updates were required to address aging issues and to keep it in optimum condition. The W-88 Alt-370 modernization included an updated arming, fusing and firing known as AF and F assembly and a refresh of the conventional high explosive. The AF&F assembly is the module that receives and confirms the GO code from the US President, then reconfigures the bomb's mechanism to unlock the firing system and enables a nuclear detonation. In addition, more than a dozen major components needed to be refreshed and revalidated because of changes in technologies. Dolores Sanchez, senior manager of the W-88 Alteration 370 for Sandia, stated, The arming, fusing, and firing assembly is the brains of the warhead. It looks for the correct code and the correct environmental signals that will unlock the system and it also ensures that it's an authorized flight. In short, it makes sure it always works when we want it to and never when we won't. Along with the AF and F assembly, the upgrade includes radar, communication, guidance. It also adds a lightning arrestor connector and other key safety and several security components. 
the module underwent a comprehensive set of tests to ensure it always works when legitimate go-ahead is received and never otherwise. The W88 Alt-370 as a whole also went through similar rigorous testing to ensure its reliability and safety. This included impact, vibration, drops, extreme temperatures, and massive electrical impulses to name a few. Trident 2 was designed to be more advanced than its predecessor, Trident 1. Trident 2 was put into service in 1990. It has a greater range and payload capacity compared to Trident 1. It is a three-stage rocket, each stage containing a solid-fuel rocket motor. It is thought to have an accuracy of 90 meters CEP. Trident 2 has a range of 11,000 kilometers or 6,835 miles, and Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines carry 24 of these. Trident 2 is a multiple, independently targetable re-entry vehicle, MIRV missile. Each Trident 2 can carry up to 14 W88, 475 kiloton warheads, or 14 W76, 100 kiloton warheads. To give the viewer a perspective, the Little Boy atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima had a yield of 15 kilotons of TNT, and the Fat Man atomic bomb that was detonated over Nagasaki had a yield of 21 kilotons of TNT. The 14 ballistic missile submarines of Ohio class together carry approximately 50 percent of the total U.S. active inventory of strategic thermonuclear warheads. The nuclear deterrence of a country depends on the nuclear triad. A nuclear triad is the capability to launch nukes from land, air, and sea and consists of land-launched nuclear missiles, strategic aircraft with nuclear bombs or missiles, and nuclear missile-armed submarines. While the U.S. has a full-fledged nuclear triad, it will certainly want to keep the sea-based systems in optimal condition since it is the most dependable leg of the nuclear triad. A full salvo from an Ohio-class submarine, which can be launched in less than one minute, could unleash up to 24 multiple 8, in other words, 192 W88s. This is a great deterrence against any adversary, and hence the W88 Alt-370 is an important undertaking. 